you just think you don't have enough room to grow some of your own food, you'll be surprised just how much you can grow in a limited area. You know, I just love this time of year. I get really invigorated. I get kind of frantic, actually, because there's so much to do. But I tell you, this area of my garden is designed in a way that helps me sort of manage my anxiety because it's, it's really contained. It's only 24 feet this way and about 18 feet here. That's about 430 square feet. But the key really is these raised beds. And I put these raised beds in, you're not gonna believe this, about 10 years ago, and they've really held up beautifully. But what I'm doing right now is every year I'm in the soil a little bit, and um, I do that because I've got a lot of humus in here and it breaks down and so the soil level goes down. Also, by adding you know, some sort of a um, blend that actually has some activators in it, it really helps. And what I mean by activators are things like mycorrhizae. They actually help the plants grow. And what I'm doing here is I'm just integrating some of that fresh soil into my old soil like this. When I first planted these beds, or let's say when I first added the soil, I used one part of existing garden soil that I had, which had a bit of clay in it. I had one part sand that I added to help break up some of that clay. And then I added a lot of humus, probably more than one part humus. And each year I add more humus and it's really worked very, very well. It's all organic, so I only use organic fertilizers when I fertilize my plants. And let's talk a minute about the beds themselves. In this space, which is very limited, um, I actually have eight different beds. I have four squares and four triangles. And it makes a really cool design to look in here. You can mix it up. You can make it all the same. Each year, you know, it's just kind of a fun exercise to come up with something a little different. So what I did is I made sure that I started with a two by 10 piece of lumber. And you can see right here, the two by 10 lumber. And I used a Western cedar and it's really held up well. And what we did is we used wood screws. You can see here and here, the wood screws were attached. And you can see that the corners are mitered like this and they've split a little bit, but hey, I, you know, I think these are gonna last a long time. I mean, look over here on the side. If I dig down the 10 inches on the inside of this board, okay, yeah, it's rotted a little bit, but it's still really solid. I mean, I can expect probably another five years out of these beds. 15 years of raised beds. Can you imagine all the vegetables you can grow in that length of time? Hey, if you're enjoying these tips, tell a friend about them and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.